I could have written this song. I mean, you know, it was just, it was over and over and over talking with Jesus, talking with Jesus. And matter of fact, as they were singing it, I was kind of like, I can even sing it better than they can. I mean, when it first started, I was like, man, this sounds terrible. And they were, they just began, and, and but it was, it was kind of low, maybe that was the reason why, but, uh, and, but then it got to a point in the song that, man, it just really amped up and kicked up, and you began, and I really began to, could hear it, and began to, to understand what was going on there, is that the more they talked to Jesus, the more they saw what Jesus was doing. The more time they spent with Jesus, the more that they saw Jesus working. And that's what we need to do. We don't need to make it about this building. We don't need to make it about our traditions that we have. We don't need to make it about, uh, we don't even need to make it about children's church, youth ministry any of that we need to make it about Jesus letting Jesus be number one in our lives and so I, I believe that the only way that we are ever be filled with the spirit of God and we're, we are, uh, are being obedient to Christ is, is that we just fall in love all over with him but we have a love in our hearts and lives and so kids I, I want to encourage you don't make church about what these things that we have. Make it about Jesus. That was an amen right there. <laughs> Y'all understand that after a while. God understood it. Make it about Jesus. Falling in love with Jesus. You know why we, I believe the reason why we fall out of love with Jesus is because we become a busy people. We become so busy in life. We have so many things in our lives. I was thinking about that this morning as I was sitting in my study. And even I, I went back and I began to Google uh, some things about 30 years ago. Because I got to thinking about, man, why, why are we so busy? Why don't we, why, I mean, what's going on? What, what's different in our lives now than what it was 30 years ago? And basically the only thing I could figure out is, is that we have, we just put so much more before Jesus today than what we did then. Just as, as Joe was uh, talking about just a little while ago, man, you know, our lives, for most of us here, us older ones, our lives, uh, you know, if, if your mom or dad was involved in a church, it was all about church. There's a few things that we, uh, we, we, we knew that um, would happen was is that we were going to church on Sunday morning, we were going to church on Sunday night, we were going to church on Wednesday night, and as I said before, God forbid that, that uh, they were having a uh, camp meeting down in Falcon, Lord have mercy, because them holiness, they liable to go two or three weeks, and uh, it was every night, we were there. Things were set aside. Things in our lives were set aside and we focused on God. Or at least our, our parents did and their parents. But what will it take to get back to, to that falling in love with Jesus? Let me share this with you. I won't be long this morning. I get off my soapbox. Colossians chapter 2, verse 6. It's going a little different direction than what we did in first service. Therefore, as you have received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in him. Having been firmly rooted and now being built up in him and established in your faith, just as you were instructed and overflowing with gratitude, see to it that no one takes 
you captive through philosophy and empty deceptions according to the traditions of men, according to the elementary principles of the world, rather than according to Christ. Young people, I want to speak to you this morning because us older people, for some reason, we can't, we can't grasp this. And I hope that you will grasp it and when you become our age, that church will look different. Now that you have received Christ, walk in Him. The same way that you have received Him uh, excitingly, freely, by faith, continue walking in Christ, realizing that Christ is the most important in our life. Christ is the most important in your life. And, and if because of Him, you have been rooted. You have a firm foundation. You have a firm foundation. You have, you have nutrients coming through you, spiritual nutrients coming through you because you are rooted in, in Christ Jesus. And establish yourself in, in the Word of God, in the Lord. Taking time to read God's Word and spending time with God and establishing yourself in your faith and so that you're not carried away by the traditions of men, but you're focused on Christ and you're excited about Christ and you want to serve Christ and, and your life is given to, to Christ. I think about the Apostle Paul. Man, the Apostle Paul could have done a, a lot of other things. But he was sold out to Christ. He never got over his Damascus Road experience. When Christ got a hold of his life, he was rooted deep in Christ. And he was established, built up on Christ. And Christ was everything to him because Paul realized that this world was going to perish. And everything in this world is going to perish. Even our little traditions that we have as a church is going to perish away. But his walk in Christ, his life in Christ would be for eternal. And he desired to bring others along with him. He didn't, he didn't want to, uh, it wasn't that Paul was now he's saved and well that's all that matters. I'm saved. I'm right with God. I'm going to heaven. No, he gave his life that others may also know Christ. Even talking with this church in Colossae, he's telling them, hey, don't be pulled away from Christ. Don't let these traditions of men and these ones that are trying to... Uh,